Meanwhile, Iran has been expanding its presence in Syria despite the endless Israeli-US attempts to oppose this. Tehran's forces deployed a signal intelligence system along Syria's border with Jordan. This may be used to either spy on the US forces deployed in Jordan or even on Israel. Iran has ample opportunity. Tel Aviv is likely to be on the back foot since the US Biden administration is likely to support Israel less than that of Trump. This provides Tehran with a chance to dig in and reinforce its position and prepare an asymmetrical response to its geopolitical opponents. There is likely to be an advent of a new round of confrontation in the conflict zone, with the Syrian Arab army still struggling to get rid of ISIS cells in the homes Derazor Desert, Turkey focused on the SDF and being targeted by militants in Idlib, and Iran attempting to focus on its opponents. Both Ankara and Tehran are likely taking a chance to improve their positions in Syria due to the lull in American activity in the face of the unprecedented chaos in the United States. At the same time, the new U.S. administration would not likely support the Trump-announced troop withdrawal effort. So Washington still has a word to say.